back to Everything's Funny at 3 a.m. This is Dub, and we're playing the Cat Lady. Susan is telling the story of the Cat Widow. What does Brian get freaked out and see in the hall? Giant shadow of a cat. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. Dead body of a disabled cat. Here. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. Okay. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Someone wrote cat killer on his door. There's a cat skull stuck on the seat of his bike. Someone wrote asshole on his door. Here. Someone wrote cat killer on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But and then now, the train jumped the track and went right up Brian's ass. All on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong, and that something had entered his home now, too. Are you getting spooked yet, Brian? Is this too spooky for you yet? He hoped he was just imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise waiting for him in his bedroom. A giant blood-soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. Blood-soaked zombie cat. The cat, cat widow is here. It was written all over the wall. Uh, giant blood-soaked zombie cat. I might go with the. I'll go with this. A giant blood-soaked zombie cat sat on his bed. <laughs> Now that's really stupid. Fair enough. That didn't really happen. Everyone knows there's no such thing as giant zombie cats, right? <laughs> I love the giant zombie cat, though. What Can't we just really keep it? What really happened was this. <laughs> cat Widow is here. Was written all over the wall. In a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. Here. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor, was there someone there with him? His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. 
and they really thought of everything, didn't they? Of a black cat set as screensaver. He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked nice. at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper. More like a her. Oh god, it's Holly Berry! It's Holly Berry! She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. Cat Widow aimed a shotgun at his chest and fired. She came closer like a ghost and swiftly removed the veil. She came closer like a ghost and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him to take him to the river to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, his knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. Nice. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then, he fainted. <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've so searched through his it? laptop and all I found was a load of porn. <laughs> Let's cross him off the list. Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. Or maybe Susan's the eye it. of Adam. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right, we need some sleep. What if Mitzi really made all this shit up? an elevator in this building. Yeah, I feel you. God, we've gone up so many stairs. Oh, there's a note on the door. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Oh, snap. Flat five. That's the old guy. It can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. The old man had me fooled. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. Okay. Looks like we're in the basement again. What's gonna happen? What is it?
is it? Uh-oh. Whenever this music plays, something's going wrong. Oh! Jesus. It's Joe it's Davis. you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be alright. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Okay. Well, all right then. Chapter 7. Wonder how close to the end of the game we are. Don't feed the troll. Looks like we're back in the field of barley. Oh. That's the crow's little girls again. I'm not controlling her. She's gonna turn it into a werewolf now. That was gonna happen. Oh, it's midnight, duh. Okay. Time to go to flat five. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take a break here, and when we come back, we're going to confront the Eye of Adam, see what happens. This might be close to the end of the game. Next episode will go a little bit longer than we normally do, so we'll see you then.